Hello everyone, what's happening? Welcome back to Odin Reacts. Now I've got a special guest here with us today. His name is the one, the only, the iconic. He likes to be called Khan. So, hello Khan, welcome to the video. And this is this is great for me, this is great for the channel as well because, again, we all here at the community of Odin Reacts are really big fans of Harry Mack. I came across Harry Mack a number of years ago and it was across, a, it was a Facebook live stream that actually went viral. Mm. And it was, it wasn't, uh, you've probably seen the video where it, there's a line of people and he walks from the beginning of the line, freestyling, picks out something from their, like, from yeah, what yeah. they're wearing. And then he walks all the way down and he picks all these people and all these people like astonished. It, uh, that was one of the first videos I've seen. And then there was one where it was by a beach and he was just freestyling with like a couple of people. And then yeah. more people came. Right, and these were yeah. the early videos that I saw of him. So more people came, and then he was he was picking people out, um, and I just I found it fascinating because I've heard of freestyling before because I come from a background of like Eight Mile and Eminem, so you know I've always grown up with hip hop, and then I fell into uh, one of the earliest of uh, rap battle scenes, which was Grind Time. It was called Grind yep. Time Now, which was a, a rap battle scene um, in America or Canada. Uh, and then it fell into there, there was Smack and URL and uh, Don't Flop from England, um, so there was many rap battle leagues. So freestyling was always a part of what I listened to and enjoyed, and I love rap battles and things like that. So um, there was a couple of like artists, uh, like Vigilant from the UK. He's a really he, he's good at freestyling. He's insane. And there's a a couple of freestylers like you've probably heard of Sharon. Yeah, uh, Sharon, Sharon, however you, yeah, yeah. Uh, however you say it, he's really good at freestyling. So, um, I've always been into freestyling, but when I came across Harry Mack, and people would shoot him words, and he would pick things from clothes and things that he saw, it was something that I never experienced before, because it was like someone would usually throw a word in the crowd, you know, and then they'd just yeah. rhyme that word, but. What I've seen over the past few years, and of course many other people have, is that he's transcended his, his freestyling into this thing that where he takes words from a conversation. He can take a conversation and freestyle the conversation as well as the words that have been picked, which to me yep. is crazy because to memorise three or four words as well as do a rap with that is really talented. But to memorise a conversation as well as them words that have been picked on top of that is absolutely insane. And it, and it baffles me. And I think it baffles 99% of the audience that don't make music or freestyle. Um, no. But the most important thing, what I like about Harry Mack the most is is his personality. Is, um, if you like, his spirituality. The, the way he is as a person, his yeah, personality yeah, sure. is, is humility. Because he's able to, you know, talk to people on a on an even plane, and he listens. He doesn't just talk; he listens, um, and I love that about him. And he's a very positive guy. So, but yeah, so yeah, a couple of questions I wanted to ask you really is how did you well, come well, across? Well, you you said I just want to let people know like the the names uh, Khan. I go by Iconic on 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 YouTube and and that's my name. That's my rap name or or YouTube name or whatever name you want to call it. Nice. Um, and, and that's where that's where kind of Iconic comes from, right? Like it's Khan and Icon. That's how you spell it. Yeah. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to clarify that just because uh, I I told you to call me Khan, uh, even though the name's Iconic everywhere. Just so it's clear. Sorry, I cut you off, but uh, no, it's all good. Let me know what, whatever questions uh, that you got, homie. No, it's all good. So uh, the first question I wanted to really ask was, how did you come across Harry Mack at first? Was it, I don't know, is it mm. some? Is did you did you go to the same school or um, did you did you bump into him through uh, YouTube, social media? Was it? Yeah. Was so it so the thing? first the first time I watched or came across Harry Mack was around 2017 or early 2018 you know two two to three years ago when um his joey badass and his venice beach freestyles were going viral i'm not, okay yeah I, I forget i forget which one that i saw first but it was, was that the one, one on the radio 
Yeah, 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 yeah. The, the radio show with, with with Joey Badass. Um, and so either I saw that one or the Venice Beach one first. I forgot which one I saw first, but they were both out already. So so after I saw the first, I obviously watched that, and then I watched the Kendrick, and then I watched whatever else I could find. Um, and so I've been I've been I was following him for a while. Um, and now, uh, if y'all don't know, I, I work with him. So yeah. how that came about? How that came about was early this year. Um, he was offering, he was offering freestyle lessons uh, late last year and <laughs> yeah. early early this year, right? It was in his the, the description on his live streams, like, oh, Harry Mack lessons, and I was just trying to meet him because he, you know, like you said, his the way he thinks, the his way he interacts with people, the way he sees the world is very mm. similar to 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 how I go about my life and how I see a lot of different things. So I was just like, this is someone that. I'm. I guarantee will be a great friend of mine um, yeah. if we meet. If we meet, um, so I. I was just like trying to make that happen. I saw that he was doing lessons. I was like, you know what? I'm not really trying to be a freestyle rapper, um, but I'm trying to meet him. So let me pay the lesson <laughs> fee. Let me pay the lesson <laughs> fee just to get time with the man on screen. Yeah. Um, and then so that aligned with me leaving my job at DraftKings. Um, I was working there nine to five. I. I left. Um, I left that before the lesson, or right as the lessons were starting. So I had already made the decision before I met Harry Mack um, to leave my job to do my own stuff, like social media marketing, consulting, kind of a mix of, yeah. I call it communications consulting. How do you get your message or your uh, brand or your product or or your whatever to as many different people as possible using social media is nice. kind of my, yeah. my, my specialty or why I quit my job. Um, and that aligned with me, you know, having the Harry Mack lessons. Uh, so I was just like, look, this is what I do. If you need it, hit me up. Um, and we vibed, obviously we, we had similar ways we look at things and he reached out after the lessons and that's kind of how I, how I started, uh, working with them. So I was nice. definitely a fan first. I was a fan first. And then I was, you know, I got lucky, um, enough to, to be able to have him reach out and, and work with them. So. And please, please explain to the community what it is that you that you do for Harry Mack uh, when it oh. comes to his, his freestyling things, etc. And behind behind the scenes and things, we'd love to know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, it's basically a lot of social media management. Um, gotcha. So basically, he, he he has so much content, right? Live streams. He has the Gorilla Bars, <laughs> and then now he has oh, uh, now he has Omegle Bars, and then Happy Hour, and then everything that he's doing. So the and like I was saying, it's to get your brand, or in this case, Harry Mack, uh, his videos or his freestyles out to as many people as possible. And that's like that. It started out with me just going crazy on TikTok with his with his videos, and then uh, posting onto his Instagram, and then now um, the Discord was was me pushing him to start a Discord, um, and then and then the happy hours was was somewhat my idea. Uh, shouts out Gary V who does tea with Gary V. I don't know if anyone knows who Gary V is, but uh, that's kind of the inspiration for Happy Hour to connect with fans in a deeper way. So, and then I now help run Happy Hour in the background. So I've been working with them since May. Um, now I just, you know, I'm just kind of his right hand man doing a bunch of different things. Uh, and yeah, that's in a nutshell what I do. I do a bunch of stuff though. <laughs> did you did you freestyle before? So is freestyling always been a part of your? um life so did you if you've been freestyling for a number of years was it something that you inspired you by a rapper or was it something in an event that, that inspired you freestyling or yeah you just... freestyle yeah freestyle like me starting to freestyle was definitely a this year thing uh after the harry mack lessons i mean listening to harry mack just like me rapping but i've always been into rap like i was i've always been into freestyle rap as well like before harry mack i yeah. would binge I would binge King Los videos, you know, back in yeah. uh, eighth grade in, in freshman year high school, you know, like now that's what over 10 years ago, I would be just on YouTube watching videos, either rap, it's freestyles or raps or rap battles, um, you know, just wordplay and rhythm just attracts me in, in a way. So I would always memorize rap um, songs, not freestyling, but memorize them like Eminem songs, Kendrick. Yeah. Uh, Chance the Rapper, J. Cole, like yeah. those are the kind of stuff that I that I vibe with a lot. Um, and memorizing rap has really allowed me to, you know, apply some of that in the rhythm and then the ways to, you know, rap basically uh, into my freestyles. So I've only been freestyling this year, but I've been rapping other people's songs 
for a long ass time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's that's great, man. It's inspiring, and I think as well for for people that that are starting out, whether they're doing YouTube, music, freestyling, reacting, wherever it is that you're doing, I think it's one of them things that you're always gonna want to do it more when you're enjoying it. You know, if you're enjoying 100%. freestyling, if you're enjoying your reactions. Like, for me personally, I have to keep it switched up. I don't know about you, but I have to keep it to content that, that I love. So it must be great in your shoes doing what you do because it's someone that you've had freestyling lessons off and then you're working for him. It's like, you know, like you said, your personality is is very similar to Harry Max and that's why you're able to work together, get on well, etc., um, so I, I, I find that very, it's very inspiring to people like myself and the community watching your community and my community, because, you know, a lot of us work nine to five jobs. A lot of us have dreams and we think that it's not achievable, you know? Yeah. So that's why I like Harry Max streams because he pushes people to focus on the dreams. You know, the, the, the one with the, uh, the Rubik's cubes. Yeah, in the yeah, picture yeah. that was insane that Crazy, was absolutely yeah. i thought to myself that and the guy and harry mack said i'll buy your first one i'll buy your first yeah, paint you know yeah, yeah. first um um uh, drawing print. or print print yeah. yes it's absolutely insane so um I, and i think that that inspiration can only grow and like you said, it's it's grown on to you to to leave what you were doing before, and you've gone into something that you love doing. So, and and that's why I left. But, but let let it not be um, confused. I, there was no guarantee that I would work with Harry Mac. I always I was gonna yeah. leave my job before I even started working with Harry Mac. Um, before I even met him, I made the decision to leave. Uh, um, so it, I didn't leave to work for Harry Mac. I left to do what I want to do. Yes, right. Well, and and it it you know circumstances led to you know Harry Mack to uh, sending me that email you know a couple months after I, I had quit my job and after after all that and now that is what I do that I I don't do anyone else I don't I don't have any other clients I'm just like all right you know what I'm just gonna only focus on Harry Mack and my own content but that was you know pretty lucky for me to get into that spot um, after. Uh, quitting so soon after quitting my job and then so soon getting into into this stuff but there was you know a month or two where I didn't have any clients I was just hustling trying to yeah. find someone to work for and stuff because yeah. you know I hadn't started reacting yet I started reacting after I started working with um, Harry Mack people, people get oh, it yeah, pe pe yeah pe people uh, at least my a lot of people in my videos and my comments uh, say like oh you got you got to work with Harry Mack after after reacting that's so cool you, you kind of hustled I was like uh, no it's kind of Backwards. I, I yeah. started reacting because I started working with Harry Mack, and it just made sense for me to to do all this. And now it's like half more than half of what I do. Or I, I don't know. I, it's it comes and goes between Harry Mack and my own content, but it's all I do now, uh, which is amazing. Never thought it would be something I'd be doing daily, all day before. So, what I find really interesting is people um, that that rap and how they pick their rap names. So pl please let us know how you picked your name. Ah, okay, this isn't even, it's funny, all, all these things are kind of coincidences that make sense after the fact, uh, but I had this, like, obnoxious Twitter handle, it was, it didn't make any sense, it was like, con underscore, or con BA, because I'm a huge NBA guy, I actually have a lot of NBA podcasts, my goal one day is to be a GM of an NBA front office and win championships, and, yeah. and that is still, like, one of my main things that, I, that, that I'm doing um, day to day. It's possible. Following the, it's possible for all of us, you know? Hey, you know, it's only, it's 100% impossible. If you think it's impossible, mm. there's at least a sliver of hope if you think it's possible. So why not think it's possible? That's kind of my motto on anything. Um, so exactly. okay, why, why, why shut that sliver of chance up? Like, that's the only mm. way that it could eventually be anything anyway. Um, but anyway, that's yeah. a whole, and I'm sure we might get into those types of topics as well. Um, but so I had this awful uh, Twitter handle that took me forever to say. And I was like, I need a new Twitter handle. This is this is bad. So I started texting my friend. I was like, yo, help me brainstorm Twitter handles. Because a lot of words have con in it, you know, like confident or convex or, uh, I, you know, iconic is one or icon or, yeah. you know, uh, whatever. You can think of a bunch of words that start with C-O-N or end with C-O-N or whatever. And you can, you know, think of something. And I was just like, you know what? What should I do? Confidant? Uh, confidence. I was like, no, nah, I, I need something iconic. And I was like, 
that's it. And <laughs> yeah. I, I was a light bulb. I was like, that's that's exactly what I need. Icon. Yeah. Um, and then my name is Khan, right? K-A-A-N. So it's spelled Icon Ick. Um, so that's how I got it. And then since I never had, and that was like a couple years ago, I never had the intention of being a rapper or whatever, but it just works so well as a rapper name or a YouTuber name or whatever name that you yet that you need it to be, that it just kind of became my, my rap name, I guess. I love how you spun the word, you know, like you said, with, with confident, there's a, there's a confident and, and yeah. different words. And then you just, you were thinking of words and iconic and then it's like a, a penny dropped maybe like a a yeah it was a light a thing you know i need yeah. something iconic right i said it i described what i needed but i used what i needed to describe what i needed which is yeah great. yeah and and obviously you, you spelt it differently um, bars basically I, w- I would basically say bars in in any freestyle context yeah bars <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah yeah and for me like um because i've been following harry mack for for probably about three or four years now um, and I hear him talk sometimes in, in Twitch streams. So, have I got this right? He's been freestyling ever since he was younger, like teenage years, 14, 15. Yeah, he, always, he, always, he always says 12 in whenever he is asked that question. So right. Since he's 12, yeah. Right, that's insane. That's insane. And a lot of time to kind of practice and get his craft right as well. You know. 100%. Um, I think, I think and, and this is something that I've realized as I've started freestyling, um, you don't need to per, like specifically practice for something to have had already developed skills yes. needed to make yourself better at it, right? So for me, I never specifically practiced freestyling, right? Harry specifically practiced freestyling for a while, and that's why he's like the best ever, I would say. Um, for me, I have no, I've never practiced freestyling until like this year, but. I played clarinet when I was in in high school and in eighth grade. I played clarinet from like fourth grade until, you know, until junior, senior year of high school. So that's a very long time, six to eight years. I don't know how long it is, but of clarinet, like classical music theory. So I know like the musical notes and and crescendo dynamics and whatever else, like music theory, I have a good grasp of. And then, you know, I was obsessed with Guitar Hero for a long time, (laughs) right? And and that got me into classical music, classical rock. I mean, uh, classical rock and like uh, that type of music. It also had crazy rhythm, right? Yeah. Like I I was stupid good at Guitar Hero back in the day. But that really developed my rhythm and changing up flows and and multitasking with your with your hands and stuff. Which is like just multitasking is what you need to do in your mind. Yeah. To be able right, like right your mind controls your different hands and sees the music and the hand eye coordination, but it's just your mind doing different things and freestyling is just your mind doing different things with words on rhythm. So for me, it's I, I realized that I've actually had been practicing a lot of different subsets of skills, right? Yes. Like memorizing ra- memorizing raps, right? Yes. Just rap, rhythm, enunciation, uh, wordplay, you know, studying going on rap genius and reading full lyrics. Of, of songs and albums yeah. uh, that gives you an understanding of wordplay and different word meanings. And I yeah. was really into spoken word for a while on YouTube, you know, battle rap. And like, yeah. there's a lot of different things that now when you, when you tie it all together, um, it just now has helped me with my current freestyles. And I'm sure my current freestyles will help me with some random ass skill that I'm doing 10 years down the line. You know, yeah. uh, it, I feel yeah. like it's all inter- interconnected. I love that because, um, what you've done is you've you've used your experiences from music, you know, with the clarinet and the different things that you've done with the music. Yeah. And for me, it's like you've you've used them skills in order to help you with your craft, which I fully understand that, you know. Um, it's I suppose it's like, you know, taking a, you know, going into university or college and, and studying something. You get good at that, but also it helps you with other skills that you probably weren't aware of at that point. And you can use yeah. them skills that you've learned to develop yourself in other areas. So I fully understand that. Um, so what is it that you that you learned from them freestyle lessons? Was there anything that kind of stuck out in your mind that when what you took from them lessons and thought, right, I'm going to focus on this. This is going to help me with my freestyling. Is there any particular words that you fall back on? Is this you know how, what kind of approach do you have when it comes to freestyling? Yeah, so that's a good that's a that's a great question because I think I went into the lessons already, you know, 
watching his videos with an intent to figure out how or, or what type of little drills or little practice sessions mm. can I do for myself? Like before the lessons even, I was like, you know, what is he doing? He's okay. He's setting up the word. He's, he's saying a word that rhymes uh, with the topic right before he says it. Okay. Now he's taking that topic, thinking of another word and then, and then, you know, setting up that second word that he's thinking of with another word that rhymes. And, and you yeah. know, like, the, and the more complex it gets, now it's like, okay, how is he doing those hooks? How is he getting that in his mind? How, like, you know, I'm always trying to deconstruct and not just freestyles, but everything in my life, just like how it's going, like why, how, problem solve, et cetera, next step, next step. So with the freestyle lessons, I was like, okay, what is he going to tell me that is like, that I don't know, that I haven't seen in my studies, quote unquote. Yeah. Um, and Really, my main takeaway um, is how important uh, rhyming at the end of each line is. Like, how important setting up the couplets are. Like, when you when you are constrained in rhyming, like, one line after another. So, I'll give you an example. Like, for me, I always go with the flow. So, like, I'll go with the flow and try to say this and those words. And I know that I go with the whole thoughts in my flow. And I always just try to get the cadence, right? I, I, yeah. I'm always get, getting the flow. I prioritize the flow. Harry always prioritizes the couplet. So if you give me a word. Okay. Um, legendary. Yeah. So what Harry would do is, or what I would do, let's start with what I would do. Yo, I'm so legendary. It's very scary how my territory is going to go inside the, and then I get stuck. Right. Yes. And right there. I get it. I just ex example. What Harry does is, Yo, I'm gonna leave all these rappers sedentary because when I flow, it's gonna be legendary, right? Yeah. He, he comes up, he yeah. comes up with. He gives himself with time, before, but he never doesn't do that. And when he does, he's in full control over the flow, so he can come back to it. And yes. that's what I've been practicing a lot more is is when I'm when I go into my like crazy flow type stuff. Before I mess up, I try to catch it back with the organized gotcha. structure that Harry Mack does. Obviously, I'm not as good, but but like I try to do my own version of that and, and how important coming back to it is. I don't think it's crucial to always do the couplets because then you kind of miss out on the flow that I love so much and yes. the cadences. Yeah. But but if you if you go without control, then you're always going to end up fucking up. Yeah. Sorry if I'm swearing, but you're so always going to end so up uh, uh, messing up in the end uh, because... It just you you don't have enough syllables that rhyme with yeah. a thought process that makes sense. So you need to switch Got it yeah. up. Yeah. So you use the words more more closer together. That's how I understand it. So when you when you rhyme your words, you rhyme them like I together. always I keep the, I keep the yeah, I keep the I keep the rhymes I extend it too much. So yes. like I'll use legendary, but I, I won't switch on to the next one until I until I mess up. So now I, I, I'm just switching it up more. So like, I'll say, uh, you know, yo, I'm about to go in because Odin's going to know him when I soul fill and then I fuck up. But yeah. what, what I need to do is I need to go, yo, I'm going to go in when I'm chilling with my boy Odin because yes. you know that you're going to like all the things when I spit it on the mic and yes. I said more lyrics right up in your headphones. When you switch it up, now you have more rhymes that you could... You could pull yes. because you're not running out. You only have a certain number of O rhymes. You're turning so, it into a story. Exactly. As, you know, it's... Um, and that that is one of the uh, the great reasons I watch Harry Mack as well, is he can turn something into a story. And I feel that... Again, I'm not a freestyler, but I feel that emotion is a big part of that. So if you feel a certain way about a certain word, so when you hear the word power, it's like, woomph. You know, it's like... I, yeah. I need to talk. How can I talk about power? It would be, you know, the, the power of the world, the government. Is it? Is it something? You know, what? What does that word inspire for you? And I think there, that's where the kind of freestyling is very unique towards each and every rapper. From what I've listened to, is because each and every person is inspired by something else. So the freestyling, that's why I like about you as well, because you you do it differently. You're not trying to do the same thing. You're trying to do your own thing, what you enjoy, and like you said, you're focusing on the flow um, yeah. more than anything. And like you say, you're practicing the couplets, but I think it'll come, definitely. It'll definitely I, come. I think, 
I, I, you know, it's coming together better every every single day, and and if I do that uh, till I die, then I then I won. So like, I'm not trying to, you know, be crazy. You know, I got I got some people tuning in here and there, and I really appreciate the the community. I appreciate your community that that's watching this right now. Um, so it's not it's not about like, oh, I'm gonna fill stages. Obviously, that's like a random dream that I didn't even know it could be possibly attainable. But then I'm thinking to myself, why am I being a hypocrite? Why am I saying that? It's impossible if you think it's impossible and then say that it, it won't be possible for me to fill a stage, right? Or, or a stadium, right? So I'm just like, all right, well, think it's possible. Think that it's probably not going to happen, but just keep doing it. And if it happens, it happens. Um, yeah. That type of thing. And not, not that I'm going to get there. You know what I'm saying? It's just the mentality that I think everyone needs to have when, when doing anything. Because if I'm aiming for, for stadiums and I top out at like a 10-person restaurant or a club, uh, that's just kind of listening to me in you know in a open mic type setting that's a win for me because i never mm -hmm. thought i'd be doing that anyway um right so that that's kind of how i look at it and yeah i always prioritize flow man i think that's what makes me different at least i think is i don't care about anything besides the flow and then the words are coming i'm i'm building my subconscious with all these words that rhyme so yes. now it's a lot it's a lot easier to pull a lot more different words, which allows me to go into those cadences for a little bit longer. Um, without messing up, I can switch it to the next one. And that's kind of what the next stage that I've, that I've been getting into uh, these past couple of weeks. Do you have any other inspirations? So it could be inside yeah. or outside of music. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I already mentioned his name, um, Gary V. If we're talking okay. about not non-familial, non-family right now. Um, but yeah, G Gary V is a entrepreneur. Um, I, I mean, he's way more than that. It's just the way that most people are going to be able to find and see what he does is he's social media and knows exactly how humans are communicating in mm -hmm. present day society, whether that be, um, on radio in the sixties, whether that be TV, um, on in the eighties, nineties, two thousands, whether that be social media and your phones. Now he's, he's a savant at understanding where humans are are spending their attention and he does everything he does to uh leave a legacy or he always says that he's doing shit for the most people to show up at his fun funeral yes. to leave a positive legacy to help out the most people to give more than he takes very yes. similar to harry mack i always like before i you know hopped on uh, before i like really started um listening and working with with harry mack it was like oh this dude is this dude is basically just a rapper version of, of Gary Vee, in, essentially. Yeah. Right? Always spreading positivity. Obviously, they do different things in terms of technical skill set. One's a social media attention, like, mm. full, you know, uh, company entrepreneur type guy. And the other is an amazing freestyle rapper. But they're both mm. philosophers, in my yes. mind. And yes. I, it, because they spend a lot of time thinking about who they are and how that relates to the world. And I see myself as in, in a similar light. Um, and so, yeah, Gary Vee has been a huge uh, inspiration. And then my basketball, and that's like my social media, whatever, in terms of craft, uh, Harry Mack in terms of rap and freestyle, uh, Zach Lowe, probably in terms of basketball, shout out to all my basketball heads that listen to basketball podcasts, Zach Lowe, yeah. um, another guy who critical thinker, super humble, super nice. And, um, you know, is great at basketball analysis. Uh, so, so that's one of my thing. And then obviously, uh, my, my parents, uh, my dad kind of came, came here from Turkey in 84 with basically nothing left his family. And then now he run he has his own business. I've never had yeah. to worry about, you know, having a dollar or whatever in my life. And I, and that's all, you know, owed to him. Um, and I feel super blessed and lucky that he gave me that type of, you know, yes. privilege, uh, privilege that, you know, I never had to worry about it. I still don't have to worry about it. And that's all due to him. Uh, so a lot of different places, to pull inspiration from that's magical that's really nice to know that you've it's like for me it, getting older it's like you know you look to people sometimes as mentors without them knowing it's like you know what yeah. have i learned from this person that, that i can take from this person and kind of incorporate it into my own self and you know i've always said there's two types of people in this world there's, there's the people who are out for themselves and there's people who who want to help others alongside themselves in the journey you know uh, and that's what kind of inspires me is is people from them kind of eras is yeah. if they if they are, you know, like Harry Mack trying to help other people through. And I find that a lot of people try and help people through music through the through the message that they carry within their music. 
Um, and it could be something just as simple as to try and make somebody happy or smile or to entertain someone, you know, I feel is is a great thing. So, um, But I do want to say, though, even, even with the inspiration and stuff, I've always been in tune with, like, my opinion holding the most value no matter what. Yeah. Right? Like... And I think, and I think that's something that I really try to uh, get people to think about is you need to, you need to know who you are and what you think and then find that valuable. Um, yes. And, you know, like, I'm not afraid to tell Harry Mack if I think he's full of shit, if he's full of shit, you know, yeah. I'm not, I'm not afraid to tell you what I think about a certain topic, even if we disagree. It's not yeah. disrespect. It's not, and I'm not saying Harry Mack's full of shit. I'm just saying like, in the, as an example, yeah. as an example, don't, don't take to uh, yourself. people listen to it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Uh, but it always true to myself but i think everyone you know tries to come back to being true to themselves and loses that pathway of like they mm. put other people's thoughts or what they think that they should do whether it be you know peer pressure whether it be your parents yeah. wanting you to do something that you don't want to do whether it be whatever it may be society or tv showing you that you need to be this and that it's putting someone else some other person's opinion it could be anything not your own opinion at a higher level in your own mind than your own opinion yeah. and i've never i've i've never done that really like fully but i've gotten in moments and times in my in my life where i have let it be too um in be clashing right if yeah. my opinion and someone else is clashing that's still a bad sign my opinion needs to hold the most value but you need to shape your own opinion with everything that you're seeing and what you choose to see, if you have the luxury to choose to see all these things, yes. um, is, is you know, you can choose the positive type voices and the people who are spreading optimism and, and hope and all that. And once you're and once that ingrains and emp empowers yourself the way you think, then uh, it, it, it works out. It works out really well. Stick, stick with the winners. <laughs> stick with the yeah. winners. Yeah, 100 percent. You know, I always like to think of the, the, the image of of a bunch of roses in a field. Now, if you stick a thorn in the middle of all them roses, guess what? Them them roses that you've planted start to grow thorns. You know, so for yeah. me, it's it's surrounding myself, like you said, with, with positive people, positive thinkers, people who want to, you know, do right by themselves. And like you say, it's, it's about having a high self-worth. And I think you need that in order to, again, if going back to music, I think you need that kind of confidence because you're always going to have that bit in your life where you're thinking, oh, is this really working? You know, you're always going to have that doubt, but I think it's having that kind of high-spirited um, confidence, that high self-worth where you say, do you know what? I'm just going to keep going anyway because I enjoy this. This is what I believe and this is what I want to do. So I'm just going to keep going until something comes from it, you know, and yeah. keep putting that, that effort in. So... But do you know what? I really, I really have enjoyed this interview. I think yeah. it's it's been really nice to to get to know you too, a little man. bit more. Um, Thank you. And I'm gonna call you Con. I'm not gonna call you Iconic. <laughs> um, call me whatever you want, Hobie. You can call me whatever you want. <laughs> but listen, guys, everyone who's who's watching right now, thank you for tuning in. Please go and follow Iconic. Go and subscribe to his channel. It's I K. Double A N I C on YouTube. Go and subscribe to him. He's got some uh, videos on there that he does freestyling. He does some reactions. Please go and check it out. But is there anything else you want to say before the end of the interview? Anything else that you think that the community might want to know, or anything that you feel that I've missed? Oh man, no, we definitely did. Okay, I think the, uh, I think it's gone. Are you there, Iconic? I think we lost know. you, buddy. Can you hear me? Oh, I'm back. Oh, I'm there back. we go. We got him. <laughs> we got him. Oh. Is wow. there anything yeah. else you want to Discord say? Discord wanted to kick. Yeah, the Discord wanted to kick me out, man. That was great timing. Great timing. Oh, oh, yeah, great timing. <laughs> that that happened. No, I don't want to say, man. Come through and chill. Uh, support your man Odin. Uh, support everyone else who's who's trying to. Uh, you know, spread positivity and love. And, and like I said, if, if you got something that, that you feel like um, you you want to do, just do it. Everyone has some sort of free time. If you have zero free time, then I understand. But if you have some mm. sort of free time, then you have no excuse to get started on, on, on what you want to be doing. Um, so 
one hundred percent. We we can be forever stuck in thoughts. I think you know. For me, before I started YouTube, it was like, oh, you know, I've got to learn this and I've got to do that, and oh, I want to do this and I want to do that. And I just had to say to myself, do you know what? I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it and be You're myself. You're gonna need to learn it. You're gonna need to learn new shit even after you start. You're never gonna yep. have all the answers. So just start. And then, because it's going to be whack to start anyway, no matter what. I guarantee you, if it's the first time you're doing anything, you're probably going to be bad. And yeah. if you're not, well, amazing. You're at a higher starting point than everyone else. When, but, I, when I look back at know, my first reaction video, <laughs> it was yeah, crazy. I look back at my first reaction video, too. I mean, I, hopefully it, was, it wasn't bad. I, I actually got a decent amount of views on my first one, but that's because not a lot of people were reacting to Harry Mack back then. So it wasn't anything yes. I was doing. Yeah. It's because... Harry Mack was amazing, and there wasn't a lot of attention given to him in the reaction scene, so people, you know, were drawn. Uh, yeah. Now, now there's a lot of Harry Mack react, reaction videos out there from a lot of different channels, and uh, mm. I think it's it's great. It's it's not a bad thing. It's just, you know, it's like anything. There's a limited amount of something. The first people to grab it, it could be real estate. It could be stocks of companies before they go big. It could be whatever. True. Everything starts out limited. And then as the supply increases, or wait, what is it? As the supply decreases, or what? I don't even know. Supply, supply and demand. The demand, <laughs> demand decreases. The demand decreases for every single one, right? If there's only one Harry Mack reaction video, then everyone who's trying to watch it is going to watch it. If there's 20, well... Not everyone's gonna watch all twenty videos, right? Yeah. So, so, so that's kind of what what allowed my channel to, uh, you know, the reactions to start out on a maybe higher note than it would have in, in in another case. But regardless, that shouldn't that shouldn't stop someone from not starting and continuing, right? That was a pleasant surprise for me. Definitely, and I fully I fully do believe this, uh, Khan. I fully believe that fifty percent of your subscribers will subscribe for your content. And fifty percent of your subscribers will subscribe for you. For you is yeah. is a person. I feel that oh, you know this this person has got this quality, or I like his reaction, or I like his well, content because of this. You know, hundred percent. And and the thing is, people get caught up in like so. For example, I do a lot of basketball content as well, right? And yeah, I I, I sometimes and in my own head, I, I you know yell at myself. I get mad at myself when I say like, oh, you know, maybe I shouldn't post as much basketball on this because it's like a reaction rap channel. But I'm just like. No, I should post every because this channel is mm -hmm. not a, a a rap channel. This channel is not a basketball channel. Yeah. This channel is not a Harry Mack reaction channel. This channel is Khan, and if and if it's a part of me, and your channel is Odin, right? So you should be able to talk about whatever the hell you want. Yeah. Not because I don't want YouTube recommending my content because I do basketball. I want YouTube recommending my content because I'm me, and yes. because people want to watch me. Right. So and that takes longer. That does take longer. Yes. yes. Being a niche and having your own. Uh, algorithm spot in YouTube that is a quicker way to to get more views yeah however however doing YouTube uh, recommending Odin is a way happier way for you to keep it sustained and not be reliant on on you know basketball season starting or mm -hmm. on uh, Harry Mac videos being pop in or yes on whatever right you're reliant on yourself but that takes longer to build and that requires patience and work and you're clearly putting in the work i know i extended it you were about to end it but i said a lot more shit. it's all <laughs> um, good I, it's all I good honestly you, you know that's kind of what i uh, where my mind went so i love that i love that i appreciate that and uh do you know what i think i i uh, gonna be mixing this channel up even more now and do more interviews i love these interviews there we go i can see the camera yeah. now but um yeah i do i like asking people questions i like finding out more about you know because my job as a reactor is to find out you know what that artist has got that other artists don't that's that's my kind of aim when i look at react yeah. when i look at music i think what has this artist got you know that, that i've discovered that maybe the next person hasn't you know so it's good to um I, I, yeah i love this this is the first time i've ever done one so <laughs> yeah amazing great. man yeah you should you should yeah definitely man I, I i really like doing interviews too and um you know just think about you know starting a podcast think about cutting it up posting it onto different social media platforms i mean that's my my business advice because that is my job and what i do so like this this you know take the audio make it a podcast and all that if you're going to do more interviews i think the more avenues people have to listen to you uh the better it is um you know so 
100%. Well, thank you everyone for tuning in. And as you know, man, you know my slogan, take it easy, stay safe, be well, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Thank you for being here.